Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So today I wanna to talk about a couple features of the Iris Vision that might be very helpful to us right now. So there's no doubt that we are truly living in a crazy time in history right now. Uh, as of the recording of this video, we are currently smack dab in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. And everybody has been either encouraged or ordered to stay inside and social distance. And that's fantastic. That's what we need to do right now. But it could cause those with vision impairment to feel a little more isolated than they did before. So because of that, I wanted to share some features or some modes of the iris vision that could be very helpful in this situation. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention that this video is being sponsored by Iris Vision, but I want to assure you that all the information I give, all the features I'm gonna talk about, are things that I really do like and recommend to others. If you've been watching my channel for any period of time, you know that I really like the Iris Vision. I think it's a great device. So when I like something and I think it works well, I have no problem recommending it to others. Also stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can get $100 off the purchase of an Iris Vision. So let's get started. Let's talk about these different modes and features. All of them have to do with basically entertainment and staying connected with loved ones, family members, and basically the world around you. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the gallery. With the Iris Vision, you can take photos. Uh, this is used for several different things. Maybe you just wanna take a picture of something to get a closer look at it. You can also snap a picture of text for the OCR mode. You also have a gallery. And this allows you to save those photos and bring them back up and view them at a later time. So we're just going to navigate to our gallery by clicking the mode button here. Photo gallery. Photo gallery. There we are. Now we can take a look at all the photos you've taken in the past. Let's go ahead and scroll through here. We just want to swipe to navigate through your photos. Oh, here you go. This is my trip to New York. Photo open. This was a great experience. This was from the Staten Island Ferry. Even got a bird or maybe a plane or something up there. This was great. I could zoom in and see the Statue of Liberty out in the distance. Let's see what else. Lots of pictures of the statue. Let's look at this one. Here's a picture of the Manhattan skyline from the Staten Island Ferry. That was a great experience. And now with these photos, it's like I'm right back there. If you'd like to learn more about my New York trip with the Iris Vision, I'll have a link to that video in the description down below. So the photo gallery is a great way to relive those memories. And what's also really cool is that family members and friends can load pictures into your gallery for you to view in the Iris Vision headset. So right now, even if you can't visit family and friends, you can still stay connected with those pictures. Next, we'll talk about two ways to stay connected, stay informed, and basically waste a lot of time. <laughs> and the best way to do that is with YouTube. So you do have YouTube built into the Iris Vision. Very easy to get to. We're just going to navigate by pressing, once again, our mode button on the side here. Photo gallery. Video player. News. Video player, there we go. And the first one we come to is the news presets. So we have several presets in here, or preset categories. The first one is news, because that's so important right now to get the latest and most up-to-date news. If I want to switch between categories, I just swipe. Entertainment. Iris Vision. News. And back to news. So news, entertainment, iris vision, those are your preset categories. If I want to scroll through these videos, I just swipe up or down. Six steps to prevent COVID-19. That would be a good one to watch. 
COVID-19, what older adults need to know. Double tapping is going to launch your digital assistant here. And yes, we can search for certain videos or topics, categories, things like that. So let's do a search. Search the blind life. These are the videos that have been found with search term, the blind life. There you go. So I searched for the blind life, brought up some of my most popular videos. I'm going to scroll through and see what we have. Low vision, blind must haves. The blind life. What I love about being visually impaired, the blind life. Ah, that looks like a good one. If I want to play this video, I just tap on the touchpad here. What I love about being visually impaired, the blind life. I want to talk about a couple of the things that I love being Tap to pause. Now the, the sound is breaking up because I'm recording the screen at the same time. When you're viewing the video in the goggles, it plays smoothly. The audio plays smoothly. So I can fast forward. I can rewind. If I want to make this image larger, I just scroll up or swipe up. And we can get pretty big, big old face right there, my big mug. <laughs> and we can look around the screen, tap to play once More again. Things that I hate. And we can look so around. I don't like to really focus on those negative things on the channel. And then we tap the mode button to go back. So that is the YouTube video player, a great way to stay connected and a great way to waste a lot of time. <laughs> So next, I want to talk about the television mode and all the customizing options you have within it. In order to not get a copyright strike on my channel, I can't exactly show live TV. So I figured instead I would play a little Minecraft. Now, of course, we have our normal zooming in, zooming out. I can zoom in. I can get a really good look at that screen over there. And incidentally, I'm about 15 feet away from that TV. But we can customize the way the image looks. That's going to work the best for us and our current environment. Increase brightness. There we go. And we can also set it to a value. Set brightness to 5. We can also adjust the contrast. Set contrast to 50. Set contrast to 50%. Now that might make it a little easier to see. Higher contrast. That's a little strong for me. I'm going to set it back down. Set contrast to 30. Set contrast to 30%. There we go. Now, if I was happy with all my settings, I could save those as a user preset. But if you guys don't mind, I've got a lot of crops I need to harvest, so I'm just going to start playing. Let's see how our animals are doing over here on the farm. How are you guys doing over here? Pigs, you alright? Sheep, cows, everything good? Yeah? Okay, good. And finally, we have the Amazon Assistant built in to the Iris Vision. You guys know her name, it starts with an A, but it's really cool that they built this into the Iris Vision. So once you're signed into your Amazon account, you have full control over her. You can get information, you can play games, she'll tell you jokes, she'll sing you songs, whatever you want. So I'll show you guys how it works. Once again, we're going to initiate it by doing a double tap on the touchpad here to launch the digital assistant. Then we say, you know whose name, and then we can ask the question or give the command. Ask me anything. What time is it? It's 10.47 a.m. Ask me anything. Tell me a joke. Why was the sheep so tired? He had a very bad dream. Ah. <laughs> that joke was pretty bad. <laughs> Ask me anything. 
Sing me a song. Technology. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Technology. Where would I be without technology? And a skeleton would definitely be another great source of information for current events and news coverage. So once again, the goal of all of this is to help us stay connected with family and friends, reduce that feeling of isolation, and keep up to date with the important news and information out there right now. And all of these Iris Vision features definitely take care of that. Now, if you are interested in possibly picking up an Iris Vision, I'll have a link in the description down below, along with the phone number. You can give them a call and get more information about that. A couple other cool aspects of the Iris Vision program is that you have a 30-day risk-free trial period. You can try out the device and if for whatever reason it doesn't work for you, that's no problem. You also get lifetime updates and the updates are done remotely. And they're not stopping with the features of the Iris Vision. They're going to continue to improve the device. They're listening to the feedback of the customers and continuing to put out new features all the time. And also speaking about getting help remotely, they also have a very cool training program when you purchase an Iris Vision and it's all done remotely. So you never need to go into an office, no one's gonna come to your house, which is great right now. <laughs> you just get connected over the phone and get the training that you need. They even have a referral program. So if you already own a device and you refer a friend, you can get a little bit of cash, which could definitely be helpful right now as well. <laughs> and speaking of money, let's talk about how you can get $100 off the purchase of an Iris Vision device right now. If you go online to their website, place an order, or if you place an order over the phone, just mention the referral code BLINDLIFE. Capital letters, all one word, blind life, and you will get $100 off your purchase. So definitely take advantage of that. All right, guys, that is it for me. Once again, huge thank you to Iris Visions for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. If you like the video, be sure to like it, share it on social media, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, all that stuff. I wish everybody the best of luck and health and happiness, and I'll see you next time.